Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nut and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last time we worked our way through the, uh, well, pretty much the most of the cathedral over there. Uh, I think we've been everywhere. I hope, at least, I've been everywhere. And uh, we've worked our way towards this altar and I'm gonna suppose we're gonna be fighting uh, Aldrich any second now, since those two guys are praying to what appears to be something big. Um, I'm gonna make a slight adjustment in my equipment. I'm not gonna use the bow and I'm gonna equip the fire sword as my secondary and that way I can switch between fire and nor and uh, extreme physical damage on the fly. I'm also gonna ashen flask up and let's see what happens. I'm hope for, hoping not something immediately. Hello? There's a lot of noises coming from these guys. Oh, okay. Nothing yet, apparently. This thing is pretty big. And with the red clots over everywhere, I'm wondering what that even means. Huh. So that's the way we came. Uh, there's also a... Oh, that's where we activated the elevator, the shortcut elevator. And is there something over here? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, let's head behind here. I see... This is more of that sludge, isn't it? Oh! Okay. Well, that couldn't be any clearer, now could it? 13,000 souls. This is gonna hurt if I lose that, but... Time for enemy horde, but visions of confidence. I'm gonna switch to the fire sword just in case. The Deacons of the Deep. Okay, there's a lot of guys. Okay, okay, okay. Are they resurrecting? Because it sure looks like it. What is this? They keep coming back and... I'm not really sure what's expected of me. Wait, something... So the smaller ones keep coming back, but... Oh yeah, okay, so that red thing is going from one enemy to the next. And they're passing it along like it's some sort of... Yeah, see? If the enemy that has that red thing, I can damage it. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's a tactic. Okay.
Okay, now I don't see it. Holy shit! Um. Okay. I'm gonna need to hurry. Holy shit. Okay, so there's something in the middle there. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to do that still. Okay. What's happening? Fuck me. Oh, she's really in there. What? Okay, so that's... I need to hurry. Ooh. Okay then. Um, I am thinking about... So... It's actually a pretty straightforward fight, so I need to kill the guys with the, the red flames around them first, and then I need to kill that deacon that's hiding between, well, pretty much everything. Um, I'm doubting which way the fastest shortcut was. Um, since I activated the elevator, it's probably easier to go from Rosaria. Rosario's bedchamber, so let's warp there. So from here should be a pretty short walk down, if I'm not mistaken. So walk over here, and then across. Now we opened this bridge, but that doesn't really do anything. So then using the elevator here, and I should be able to just bypass the two knights, I presume. Run around them. So that cloud in the end started to curse me probably and that's why I got killed. Yeah, he's not doing anything. So, two-handing. Because, well, I don't really need every anything else. Ah, 
we see it happening at the beginning. Okay, it always takes one in the middle. There he goes. So now that magic thing is going to happen. Gonna run around. Ah, so that just happens because I can. Oh! I need to get to her. Oh, there they go. Okay, just powering my way through. Holy shit. Oh, and look at that. A small doll, soul of the deacons of the deep, ember restored. Whew. So yeah, I just went apeshit over there, <laughs> straight in the middle, and my curse was already halfway, but another boss fight done. The Deacons of the Deep. So uh, let's activate this bonfire. Thank you. And I will check out the things we've got. Because we found the doll. So that's probably here, yeah. A small silver work doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sulevan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. And that's exactly what we're gonna use it for. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. So that uh, kind of explains why there was a moon. That's also part of the curse, apparently. So let's check out that blue soul. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, oh there we go, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral over the High Priests, with the High Priests, to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. So Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, so he's not here in the cathedral. And the guy we just beat to a pulp was Archdeacon Royce. Interesting. So... We have a few characters in the Boreal Valley that we need to uh, have a chat with. Um, there is a stairway over there, so I'm gonna rest. I first go to uh, Firelink Shrine really quickly because I have 26,000 souls. There we go. Oh, the fire keeper is over there, and what is she standing here with her sword for? I'm first gonna go, uh, Welcome since home, she Chief. looks quite combat ready. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then so level up. Nourish. Let's go into. Hmm. I 
can do two points. Vitality only boosts equip loads and a few defenses. Um, decisions, decisions. Well, I'm gonna put one in strength and one in dexterity because I'm planning to start using that sword from the Abyss Watchers as well. So there we go. Farewell, Ashen May the Flame. And then we'll check out Ludlut. What the fuck is this? Oh, those are uh, those two guys from On the Road of Sacrifice. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the Road of Sacrifices. Unri. That was his name. I'm well pleased to see you say. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. Yeah, we still need to check the that. must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldridge is said to hail from Irithyll, in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Well, they're really literal with everything, because we kind of already knew all that. And he doesn't have anything to say. Or does he? No, he doesn't. Aldridge's honest home is Irithyll, in the Boreal Valley. An ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that. Yeah, so yeah, we know that. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? We have this lady that's ready to fight, apparently. Mm. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Uh oh. Your path is wholly different to mine. Gentle and kindled, I bid you farewell. Oh, great. If we meet again. It will be as adversaries. Okay, but you're not gonna kill me anyway. Okay then. Gentle and kindle, if we meet again. Okay. So becoming a finger isn't really uh, a great idea. Uh, Grey Rat has returned. So I'm gonna have a quick chat with him as well. Hello. Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go That's on. great. Have a gander. Okay then, uh, let's purchase. So a few more embers apparently, and a boatload of weapons apparently. It's a short bow, priest chime, a few shields. Nothing spectacular, knight's armor. Well, I was hoping for a bit more, but hey, nothing that I'm gonna buy. Goodbye, Martha. <laughs> so I'm gonna suppose you all are still dead. Yeah, he is still dead. Then, um, Leonard doesn't seem to be here. Aegon hasn't returned as well. So the only one we need to check now is Ludlitz's inventory. Maybe check on uh, Irina as well. To see if she's still alive. Aha, that returned. So. Yep. So we have Deep Soul, Fire Dark, and Soul Sediment. Or. I think we've had that. Cleric's Candlestick. Wait a second. So, sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons, said to have been imparted to them by McDonald of the Boreal Valley. McDonald, that's a new name. Fire's dark soul drag, souls which swell from the deep, pursue their target, drawn towards life. And then the cleric's candlestick, candlestick used as both sword and catalyst, used for worship by the deacons of the deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon McDonnell, became both clergymen and sorcerers. Huh. Because... So they were both archdeacons. Interesting. I'm gonna wait a bit. Uh, and then we need to check up on Irina. She appears to be still alive, so that's great news. And uh, as for everybody else, I'll see you back at... Well, the tomb, the coffin of... Uh, Saint Aldrich.
So Andre already mentioned that his tomb is... Wait. It's the other way around, probably. Or is this supposed to be his coffin? Because I would think... Is this his coffin? Is this your... Oh, wait, yes. That's the thing we saw in the... In the cinematic at the beginning. Yeah, 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 okay. There's nothing... There's not gonna be anything here, right? Okay. Then the only thing left for us to do is go back to Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. Which is what I'll do immediately. So see you guys... At Irithyll. Okay, back at this amazing place. Because it is really pretty. But uh, they say it's cursed, so uh, I'm gonna suppose that monster is not gonna reappear. I would hope so. Doesn't look like it. So let's keep our eyes to the front now. And let's enter uh, Yarnum. <laughs> Well, it's not Yarnum, but it kind of looks like Yarnum. It's the same style, so... Oh! Okay, just walk through it then. Let's activate this thingy. And let's rest at it. A Rhyme Blue Moss Clump. That's probably against Frostbite. Moss Clump radiating gentle heat and light. Reduces frost buildup, cures frostbite status. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Weapons imbued with frost are a rare thing indeed, most of them originating in the Boreal Valley. Yeah, like our uh, Irritil Longsword. Okay, and another summoning sign appeared. And I got invaded immediately! Narek B. So I'm gonna suppose he was over there. <laughs> Let's play with this guy. Hello! Okay then. Well done, dickhead. Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> Look at that. He's gonna help me. He's my buddy. Come and get me, baby. That was totally not in my, uh... Well, I'm not dead yet. Oh, fuck you. Come on. I dodged out of the way. And my blue knight really sucked. That was bullshit. So, let's try that again. I, ha I had an amber for five seconds. Seriously. There we go. I'm gonna continue using that. And I want my souls back. 
And all those dark spirits can go kiss my ass. Okay then, so there's a door over here, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Another item, soul of a wary warrior. That's something new. Ah, secret passage. Doesn't look like it. Holy shit. What the hell are you? Oh, he's one of those Boreal Knights. Because he's too big to be one of... us. Oh god, what is that? Are you friendly? Okay, and he's clearly not the, or she is clearly not the only one here. Another soul. What is that sound? It does not open from this side. I'm actually kind of glad that I can open that. Uh, hello? Holy shit, what the hell was that? Backstab! Okay, that guy is getting really annoying. Oh, he has a shield. Oh, buried in the face. Shouldn't have done that. Goodbye. Okay. So these guys are uh, pretty aggressive. Another large Titanite shard. I might actually be able to upgrade my uh, Uchi Katana. Hmm. So there's this side route, which... Get up there, apparently. So now what? They're holy. Those look terrible. Okay, but they are manageable. Um, budding green blossom. Holy mother! Shit, how do I even... Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes! Jesus motherfucking Christ.
So, on that note, I'm gonna take a little break. Uh, so next time we're gonna head into Irritil proper, probably. So uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you want. Because I'd really appreciate the support. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.